So today we're gonna go over another favorite game, especially of mine, I enjoy playing it a lot, Scythe. I'm gonna teach you how to play Scythe so everyone can hate you. This game um, seems like it could be a beast at first, but it's actually not too bad once you crack the code and get a good rhythm going. I'm not gonna talk about how to play Scythe, so if you're interested in that, there's plenty of other videos about how to play. This is all gonna be about strategies, beginning tips, um, maybe even a little bit more advanced tips. All right, so let's get into it then. The very first aha moment is when people realize that they need to have that good rhythm, right, of having the most top actions with bottom actions and helping your top actions get the bottom action to get the next top action to get more bottom actions and to have this chain reaction. Not that hard to understand. And this is a, of course is a very crucial point, but it's not the whole of it. What I mean by this is you need to think deeper than just, oh look, I can do the top action and the bottom action next turn, but like I said, getting that chain reaction so that way you're thinking multiple turns ahead, the top action to the bottom action to the next one and to the next one, not just one turn ahead. So let's just pull a random faction right now and a random board and just, I just wanna show you kind of my first thought process on the first four turns. I've never played with this person. I'm just kidding. This is the Republic of Poland, Polonia, Polania, Polania. And then we have engineering as well. Okay, so my first thought is I see that build gives me a lot of coins. I'm gonna do that at the beginning. So I'm gonna be getting the build star. And I will first trade for two wood. And then I'm going to come over here to produce and I have a wood and a food. Now I have three wood. I can come over here for my third turn, bolster, and then build my mill over here on my food tile. This way I can come right over here and move, you know, move my worker to the village. And then I have my three food. I can, I can already do an enlist, a build and an enlist, um, you know, first four or five turns. Okay, so here's something else that I noticed, uh, just kind of plotting out the coins, that every board actually has a limit to the amount of coins that it can get. Because as you've noticed, the bottom actions, some of them don't have coins when you deploy, and they might have coins when you build. So um, here's a chart showing all of those numbers for every single board limited onto how many coins that it can get if you did every single um, bottom action maxing out its possibilities for coins. Okay, so uh, as you can see from my beautiful chart that is very easy to read, it is showing the starting amount of coins uh, is that first column and then it goes how many coins you can get if you do all the upgrades, all the deploy, all the build, all the enlist, and then the total coins that you can get. So by this logic, you can assume that the industrial board is the best just because it gets the most coins, and in some cases it, it might be. But notice where most of its coins are coming from. It's coming from the upgrade section, right? But if you think you're gonna be upgrading every single thing and going th through all those turns to upgrade everything, then you've already lost. You don't wanna be wasting your turn upgrading things that you'll never be using later on. The best upgrades that you're gonna be wanting to use are of course the move, bolster, and popularity, or even sometimes produce. So you really only need to be upgrading three times per game. Back to the chart, you see that I uh, highlighted agricultural. That is, um, I think, the overall best board. Let me tell you why. So the best bottom action is gonna be your enlist. First of all, agricultural has the best enlist um, coinage. And when you do enlist, you're getting the most reward overall in the game. It doesn't matter what board you have, you're gonna wanna be doing enlist purely because of the power that this bottom action has. And make sure that when you do enlisting, that you're enlisting for coins first. That way when people are building mechs, which everybody should be building mechs, you're getting coins in the beginning of the game. And of course, throughout the entire time. So let's look at that chart again, but now I've changed it to where we're assuming that everybody's only doing three upgrades, but we're still getting all our mechs buildings and enlisting, because those are pretty good. Now we see that industrial actually has the worst number in total coins, if you're upgrading accordingly. Now agriculture has the most coins overall, tied with mechanic, but of course, like I said before, enlist um, is the most important bottom action and agricultural gets the most when it comes to enlist. All right, so that's some basics. 
Um, now I'm going to answer some frequently asked questions by my friends and my friends only. Uh, can you win in 15 turns? You can go Google it and there's literally people that tell you what faction, what board, and what thing to actually do for every single turn. Yes. What is the best faction? Well, that is Russia, the Russians, of course. But Russia? Should I rush to go get to the factory first? No, not necessarily. Uh, the factory, I see people win without even ever getting a factory card or they just never use the factory card that they get. So really the factory is not needed at the beginning nor do you need to rush to it. The factory is important at the end of the game. Which mech should I deploy first? Well, um, everybody has different abilities on here. The best mech is speed, everybody has that and you need movement. Again, area control game, you're gonna need to move around. Which building should I build first? I would build the mine first, um, because if you're building the speed mech, or the mine helps is a building that helps you get out of your main area because you don't have your um, river walk mech yet, and with a mine and a speed, you can go a lot of places on the board. Should I get all my workers? Uh, that's, that's a, that's depending on the game. So, getting all your workers, of course, gets you a star, which is good. However, you're gonna be paying a lot just to produce. I would say get enough workers up until you don't have to give up uh, popularity. So that would be five workers. If you're gonna get more than five, you might as well go for all eight. So have five or eight workers every game. If you don't have, if you're, if you're working with just two, you're, you're too slow. Um, end game and you just won't make it. Should I always do my objective? So, no, no. Look at what your objective is. If you can not have to do a detour just to get your objective, then you should go for it. However, if you're having to waste a bunch of turns just to grab a star for that specific objective, it's not worth it. Don't even worry about it. There's plenty of other ways to get those stars and I think it's waste time. What are the best stars to get? Oh, by the way, uh, this paper is blank. I... Enlist, that's the first one out of the six. You should always be getting that one. A military, it's always good to have in there. Mechs and buildings, those are up, those are up there somewhere. Power, also is a pretty easy one to get with upgrading bolster, right? We're upgrading that one. And then that sixth one can be, you know, that objective, if you can incorporate it into your strategy without having to waste turns. Workers, uh, if you're in a good position for that, or even just another battle. So in other words, going for upgrades and popularity are practically a waste of time. I just wouldn't even go for those. And that's it. Life is one of my favorite games. I love it. Not the best. I'm not like a competitive, amazing, ranked in the world or anything. I played it a lot. I enjoy it. Let me know what you guys think, what your strategies are. Maybe I missed something. Um, you want to chime in for sure. Leave a comment, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Uh, let me know if there's any other board games that you guys are interested in on, you know, my thoughts on the strategies. So, uh, see you next time. God, let my birdie flies be everywhere! I'm a flying wolf!